and then we can do the differentiation so this will be my question number nine we need to verify sine of t times cosecant of t equals to one this is a very simple uh, <coughs> question we'll just use the relation cosecant of t is basically 1 over sine of t then we'll substitute back into the equation this and this will get cancelled and it will be equal to 1 lhs equals to rhs hence proved mm, okay correct solution great job this solution is correct i will go to <coughs> so the question says that how to transform the general form of hyperbola to the standard form given by the equation so equation is 3x square minus 2y square minus 24x minus 12y plus 60 equals to 0 so for this case first i will write the general uh, the standard equation of hyperbola so the standard equation of hyperbola is so it is x minus h whole square over a minus y minus uh, k so y minus k whole square over b equal to 1 now x minus h whole square minus y minus v whole square here h and k are the center coordinates of the hyperbola center of hyper bola then we have um wait wait we have this uh, the length of transverse axis so 2a is length of transverse axis axis then we have the distance between the foci is 2c 2c is distance between foci of two hyperbolas which is given by c square equals to a square plus b square then we have coordinates of the vertices so the coordinates of the vertices are h plus minus a comma k then we have coordinates of co vertices which is h comma k plus minus b so we need not to dive into this <coughs> we just uh, need to convert this black equation into this blue equation 
so let me just rewrite this equation so it was 3x square minus 2y square minus 24x minus 12y plus 60 equals to 0 <coughs> so first i need uh, uh, what do i need i will just divide this whole no i will just take uh, separate the x terms and y terms first because i need to complete the square for this uh, conversion 2y square minus 12y plus 60 equals to 0 then i will take 3 common from here so x square minus uh, this was 3 um, 8 times x i will take minus 2 common from here then this will be y square minus 6y that will be plus and i will take 60 on the um, rhs side now i will complete the square uh, within the bracket so i have 3 i have x square then i will write 2 by 2 into 8 so i can write 8 as 2 into 4 I can write 8 as 2 times 4 times x then for the b square term I'll just write these formulas a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab and a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab so for uh, this was minus this is 2 uh, this x is a then b will be 4 so I will add 1 4 square and I will subtract 1 4 square minus 2 times y square plus 6 can be written as 2 into 3 into y plus this is 2 times here this will be plus so this is 2 times a into b so i will add 3 square and i will subtract 3 square <coughs> Three square equals to negative of 60 then I will complete the or I will write in the form of square I will just combine these terms so I will get 3 over uh, for this I have x square this will be x minus of 4 whole square minus 2 times y plus 3 whole square equals to negative of 60. Now for the general form we need 1 on this side. So what we will do we will just divide everything by um, okay so i left few terms here uh, here i had four square also i will just erase right pen so i have three times x minus four whole square 
माइनस फोर स्क्वायर माइनस टू टाइम्स वाई प्लस थ्री होल स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू नेगेटिव ऑफ सिक्सटी नाउ आई विल जस्ट थ्री टाइम्स एक्स माइनस फोर होल स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री टाइम्स सिक्सटीन थ्री टाइम्स सिक्सटीन विल बी फोर्टी एट नेगेटिव ऑफ फोर्टी एट माइनस टू टाइम्स ऑफ वाई प्लस थ्री होल स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर तो दिस माइनस माइनस विल बिकम प्लस एंड दिस विल बी प्लस एटीन फोर्टी एट नाउ इक्वल टू नेगेटिव ऑफ सिक्सटी so negative of 48 and 18 will become minus 48 plus 18 will become minus of 30 so i will take um wait a minute 3 and 48 then i had this was minus and negative 2 okay minus minus becomes plus and two times of 9 is 18 this will be minus 60 and then After using here, it is given three x square eight x minus two. This minus minus will become plus. Then two into nine will be eighteen. So plus nineteen plus nineteen over it will become minus minus of eighteen. So this will become three x minus four whole square. Minus two times y plus three whole square minus of thirty equals to minus of sixty. I'll just add thirty on both the sides. Then we get three times x minus four. So minus two times y plus three. Whole square equals to this will be zero and this will be minus of thirty. Now, I will divide both the sides with negative of thirty. Minus three x minus four whole square minus two minus 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 forty eight plus eighteen negative thirty negative thirty will go become positive thirty. So I will divide this whole with negative of thirty. Then I will get this will become in the denominator. So will become minus thirty x minus four whole square over negative thirty over three minus y plus three. Square over negative of thirty over Two and negative thirty over two equals to one. So the general form was ah uh,
general converse x minus we need a and we need a minus sign here and this was red color so we will get x minus 4 whole square over negative of 10 minus y plus 3 whole square over uh, negative of 15 equals to 1. So this is the answer which I am getting. Here uh, there is a mistake. Uh, this uh, should be a positive number uh, in the uh, LHS and when it goes to the RHS it will become a negative so this should be minus of 18 then minus 60 minus 60 plus 48 minus 18 will give minus of 30 and then we will divide so the solution given here is incorrect solution and this one is the correct solution uh, um, while completing the square of y terms minus 2 into minus 9 will become plus 18 on RHS HS and it will become minus 18 on LHS so on LHS we will have minus 60 plus 48 48 minus of 30 which will give minus of 18 it was minus of 18 <clears throat> will give minus 30 on uh, rhs uh, on lhs this will be rhs this will be rhs and this will be RHS then we divide whole equation with negative of 30 final answer is x minus of 4 uh, whole square minus not minus divide by minus of 10 minus um, y plus 3 whole square divide by negative of 15 which will e be equal to where is equal to 1 solution is incorrect yeah so uh, that was pretty much for this session and if you like this session then please do hit the like button and subscribe button also and you can leave the comments 
and if you want to um, submit your own questions or if you want any homework help then you can check the links in the description below and uh, hope to see you soon in the next video so bye